Good day, guys. It's promise of us here once again. Okay, I'm going to be taking you guys through on the whole buttons there and some other things on this infinite design. This was an illustration I did on this infinite design. It was an illustration I just completed. So let's begin. Let me delete all these stuff. Okay, guys. So let's start by getting. I've talked about edits, I've talked about select, I've talked about eraser. There is extra tool I needed to show you guys on how to use it on this button. On the down button here. So let me get a ballpoint. Ballpoint, I have my black. And I get a circle. This is a circle. I'll have to use two circles. So these two circles. So these two circles. This is one. I go to my select menu. This is one. Talked about transform. Talked about properties, which is just to reduce size. Talked about the edit tool. You guys know about the delete tool to front mm -hmm. i'm not talking about this let me show you guys what it means okay from the name you should know what it means this is my first circle this is my first circle and i take it to the back you see it goes to the back so if i want it to come out to the front again i select it i bring it to the front you see it comes to the front so this is used to take elements to the back and bring to the front then i select again my select to i can copy i can copy see i've copied this guy now so if i want to paste it i can see paste it here by look at the the paste in here if i just click this it means i've pasted it's like copying something in your normal folder that's how this one works. You have to go to another folder if you want to paste it in another folder, but you can still paste it where you copy this thing. So this is how it works. This is how it works. So look at it. I can if I click this guy now, it means that it has pasted this thing in this same menu. But I can still go to another layer. Click plus and this is another layer and I'm paste this guy. So I'm press OK here. Yeah, don't bother this one is in transforming. Once you copy something, you first of all see a transformation. Transform to let me show you guys. Copy. Let me still paste it here. So you see all these things are transforming. Mission two. You can use this one to is in free. You can rotate, move, move, do other. This one is for scaling. This one is for rotating. This one is for distorting. This free means it has all the whole. This you can rotate it. You can increase the scale. You can just free. That is what the free means. So that is how. That is how it works. You press you. Don't just transform it. You just press OK and you're good. So I have one layer now okay i have three layers i have three layers so let me be deleting another thing uh, infinite design works in layers if i'm in, in another layer if i'm in this layer now let me go back if i'm in this layer if i'm in this layer now I cannot affect this. I cannot work on this pink circle. I can't work on this pink circle due to I'm in this other layer. So I have to go to the layer of this pink circle, which is this one. If I can work on this, I can touch this. Work on this one. So infinite design works on layers. You have to be in a layer where your elements are before you can work on the elements. If you're in another layer, you cannot work on those elements. So let me go to this layer and delete all these circles. So this is it this is how it works then i touch again you have this cut okay guys this cut is also like paste it's also like paste so you see i cut i can go to another layer 
and paste it so cut is the same thing as copy cut is the same thing as copy cut is the same thing as copy so another one you guys need to learn is combine this combination it works only when you select two elements so i select first circle i go to i, I mean another layer so i can't select okay so i cannot select this one except i'm in this menu except i'm in this menu so i want to select and the combine works when you're working on two elements so i'll have to click this one and click this one so I'm, since i'm not in this menu i have to delete this guy delete this one also I, I now have one one menu and my circle is gone so let me just create another one because i've deleted the main one if you can remember So I select this, I select this. You see, I now have my combine now working. And another thing is align. You can play something and align with something. Assuming this guy now. Let me move this guy. Assuming this guy is here. And this one is here. If I want this one to align with this one, I can align this boat now. Watch. Let me align to the here you see you, you can remember this guy was here before so i aligned it with this vertical alignment so you can align this automatically on infinite design that is why the app is wonderful so watch watch i click this one i press alignment look at the various alignments i can align them in the middle you see i can align them here uh, okay they are in straight line let's say this one was let me unselect this one, move this one, then select this one, then align. Watch, so it gives them a straight line. I can also keep this one this way. Keep this one here, keep this one here, then align them, align them horizontally. You see so it's another thing you need to learn on alignment you can align two stuff with the whole alignment you have here so go work on that you can practice on that then another very important tool is the combine this combine this combine let me move these guys together it works like segment two like the segment two i showed you guys that is how this combine is used to creating shape and another time we will have to exploit golden ratio golden ratio it works on infinite design so i think this guy's opacity i think this guy's opacity this guy's opacity is small it's not a hundred percent so this is the opacity is hundred percent now so I go up from my exit, go up from circle. Then let me show you guys on the combine tool. This is combined. There are various types of combine. I can combine these two shapes so that they will not have outline like this. You see? They've combined together. So I can see combine, go to my combine again. Okay, go back. So I can go back select again so these are various types of combination i can combine these guys now to get their intercept look at the type of combination here to get the intercept here you see i've gotten the intercept it's like golden ratio so it works on infinite design so i i can still go back again click on these guys the two of them go to come all these things are various combination too you can still combine like this to get the place the intercept they combine like this combine like this all these things works like segment if you don't want to use combine you can also use segment to you can use segment to if you don't want to combine like that you can use segment to let me show you guys what i mean by segment on this segment i thought you guys how to use it 
see what will happen you see i can go back i can remove this one but that one is at the back so i will bring it to the front so that you guys will see what i meant If you need this, I can really do a lot. It can really do a lot. Let me get the segment. You see? What happens? I can... I'm removing the one outside. I can do a lot. Well, if you didn't get what you want with segment, you can just use combine. Then another thing is erasing. When you get a picture you want to erase, most of the times, you can get the picture i don't know whether this video will still continue but you can import an image import an image i don't know whether this video will cut let me try importing something from gallery any image will just do any image you just do import it as image is in transformation now change it from this free to scale maybe or to don't rotate but you can still leave it in free i just don't want you to rotate it then i scale put it to scale if you want to reduce the size and reduce the size so i press ok i want to show you guys something i move to the eraser button you i told you guys before that every function on the pen button works the same as the eraser just that eraser removes in the uh, in the pen format why the pen creates in the pen format so this is a circle circle i'll go to i've on the circle now so i'll be getting any reason i'm raising in circle format so i've gotten a circle like this so i can erase this guy in circle format i can still leave it and edit it so that i can move it or i can still go back create another one that it into perfect what I want to use it for. So I won't get something perfect. So I will just have to edit to get what I need. I make it free. I've told you guys how to use the frame. Sorry, frame. I've told you guys how to use the frame. So you see, I've now gotten a circle of what I want to. So most of the times, if I want to get image circles that, that don't fit well in Pezzle Lab, I'll just come in and finish design, erase it. So with this is now what you have to do is just get your segment to remove this ones. You now have a full circle of the image. This is how to create around this one. Then you can just offset it to add stroke to it if you want. You can, if you design, you can use it for graphics. It's just that it has the limitation of fonts and the layer. I tried using it for design for graphics. It was really amazing, Sha. Because of the automatic alignment grouping you can move group all the whole element move them at the same time then ungroup them again why people like you just made you can't you move you can't on magic again there is a it was fun but I, I had some limitations too so that is it you can just offset it go to offset add stroke to it set it aside instead of so you see i've added stroke to it so evening design is really really wonderful really wonderful okay so thanks for watching don't forget to share and subscribe and uh stay tuned i'll still be sharing you guys update on this but just try out this infinite design it's really wonderful it's really wonderful so thanks again for watching and uh have a nice day